Nate the Great and the Sticky Case Marjorie Waymon Sharamat I, Nate the Great, was drying off from the rain. I was sitting under a blanket and reading a detective book. My dog Sludge was sniffing it. I was on page 33 when I heard a knock. I opened the door. Claude was there. I lost my best dinosaur, Claude said. He was always losing things. This is your biggest loss yet, I said. A dinosaur is huge. How can you lose it? My dinosaur is small, Claude said. It is a stegosaurus on a stamp. Can you help me find it? It is hard to find something that small, I said. This will be a big case, but I will take it. Tell me, where was the stegosaurus stamp the last time you saw it? It was on the table in my house, Claude said. I was showing all my dinosaur stamp to my friend. The stegosaurus stamp was my favorite. Who are your friends? I asked. Annie, Peep, Rosamond, and you. But you weren't there, Claude added. Good thinking, I said. I, Nate the Great, will go to your house and look at your table. I wrote a note to my mother. Dear mother, I am on a sticky case. When I find something big that is small, I will be bad. Love, Nate the Great. Claude and I went to his house. He did not lose his way. He showed me his table. It had stamps all over it. Here are all of my stamps, Claude said, except for the Stegosaurus stamp. I, Nate the Great, saw Tyrannosaurus stamp I saw a Brontosaurus stamp. I saw an Ichthyosaurus stamp. I saw claws and jaws. The stamps were ugly, but that didn't matter. I had a case to solve. I had a job to do. Where was the Stegosaurus stamp when it was on the table? I asked. Near the edge, Claude said. It must have fallen off, I said. I looked on the floor near the table. The stegosaurus stamp was not there. I picked up a stamp and showed it to Sludge. We must look for our lost stamp, I said. Sometimes Sludge is not a great detective. He tried to lick the sticky side of the stamp. Look, don't lick, I said. Sludge and I looked at, over under and around everything in closed house. Then we looked again. We did not find the stegosaurus stamp. I, Nate the Great, turned to Claude. The stegosaurus stamp is not in your house, I said. Tell me, when did you notice the stamp was missing? After everybody left, Claude said. Did everybody live together? I asked. Yes, said Claude. Did everybody come together? I asked. No, said Claude. Annie and Rosamond came to tell me that Rosamond was going to have a yard sale. Then it started to rain. It rained for a long time. So Annie and Rosamond stayed and looked at my stamps. When the rain stopped, Peep came over. He looked at my stamps too. Then they all left together to go to Rosamond's yard sale. Then I, Nate the Great, must go to the yard sale too, I said. I must speak to everyone who was in the room with the Stegosaurus stamp. Sludge and I went to Rosamond's house. Rosamond was standing in her yard with her four cats under a sign. Yard sale. 
buy or swap. Are you selling your catch? I asked. No, Rojan said. I'm selling and swapping empty tuna fish cans, slippers, spare cat hairs, toothbrushes, pictures of milk, spoons, and all sorts of things. Sludge was sniffing. Do you have a stegosaurus stamp? I asked. No, Rosamund said. But I saw one at Claude's house, near the edge of his table. Thank you, I said. I started to leave. Please buy a cat hair from my yard sale, Rosamund called. They are only a penny each. I, Nate the Great, did not want a cat hair. But I gave Rosamund a penny. I will buy one cat hair, I said. I will give you an extra one free. Rosamund said. Do you want hairs from Big X, Little X, Plain X, or Super X? Surprise me, I said. Rosamund took a hair from a box that was marked Big X and a hair from a box that was marked Super X. She stuck the hairs to a piece of tape. So you won't lose them, she said. Sometimes Rosamund has strange ideas. This was one of them. I saw Pib looking at some empty tuna fish cans. Did you see a stegosaurus stamp at the edge of a closed table? I asked. Pip doesn't say much. He shook his head up and down. Do you know where it is now? I asked. Pip shook his head sideways. Thank you, I said. I saw Annie and her dog Fang. I'm looking for a close stegosaurus stamp, I said. What do you know about it? I know that stegosaurus is pretty, Annie said. I know that it looks like Fang. And it turned toward Fang. Show us your stegosaurus smile, she said. Fang opened his mouth. I, Nate the Great, knew it was time to go home. I said goodbye to Annie. Sludge and I walked home slowly. It was a good walk. There was raindrops on the tree leaves. We saw ourselves in the puddles. We sniffed the clean air. We saw a rainbow. At home, I made some pancakes. I gave Sludge a bone. We ate and thought, where was the stegosaurus stamp? Nobody knew. But the stamp was gone. This was a sticky case. I, Nate the Great, was stuck. Then I thought, perhaps there is something different about a stegosaurus stamp. Perhaps I should think about the stegosaurus instead of the stamp. Suddenly, I Nate felt great. I had pancakes in my stomach and a good idea in my head. I have to go look for information. I went to the museum. I saw a stegosaurus there. I had to look up, and up, and up. The stegosaurus was big. He was bigger than Fang. His smile was uglier. But he could not move. He could not do anything. I, Nate the Great, was glad about that. I learned about the stegosaurus. He was a giant lizard. He lived a long time ago. He had two brains. I, Nate the Great, wished that I had two brains and that one of them would solve this case. I walked home. The signs of rain were gone except for some puddles. I thought hard. What did I know about the Stegosaurus stamp? I knew that Annie and Rosamond went to Claude's house and saw the stamp. Then it rained for a long time. I knew that after the rain stopped, P went to Claude's house and saw the stamps too. 
I knew the stem had been at the edge of closed table. I knew it was not in closed house now. How did it get out and where was it? Seeing a big stegosaurus had not helped the case. Perhaps I'd been thinking wrong. Perhaps I had forgotten that there are two sides to every step. Perhaps I should think about the sticky side instead of the stegosaurus side. Think sticky, I said when I walked inside and saw Sludge. Sludge was licking his dog bowl. He had not been much help on this case, or had he? I remembered when Sludge tried to lick the sticky side of the stem. Sludge's wet tongue would have made the stem very sticky. A very sticky stem. Sticks! Suddenly, I knew that Sludge was a great detective. He knew that the sticky side of the stem could be important. I, Nate the Great, knew that everything wet would make a stem very sticky. I thought of wet things. I thought of drips and drops. I thought of rain. When Annie and Rosamond went to close house, it was not raining. But when Pip went to close house, it had been raining and stopped. Raindrops were on the trees. Puddles were on the sidewalk. Hmm. I made the great thought of puddles. I thought of Pip stepping in them. I got a stamp from my desk and put it on the floor. I went outside and stepped in a few puddles. Then I went back inside and stepped on the sticky side of the stamp. The stamp stuck to my shoe. The same thing must have happened to the Stegosaurus stamp and Pip's shoe at Close house. Sludge had given me the clue I needed. Now I knew that I had to see Pip's shoes. We went to Pip's house. I rang the bell. Pip opened the door. I looked down at his feet. He was wearing slippers. Where are your shoes? I asked. Pim looked down at his feet. He opened his mouth. Then he said, My shoes were all wet from the rain. After I left Claw's house, I swapped them for a pair of dry slippers at Rosamond's yard sale. I took the slippers off the swap table and put my shoes there. Thank you, I said. Sludge and went back to Rosamond's yard sale. We went up the swap table. The sticky case is almost over, I said. But Pip's shoes were not there. Rosamond came over. I hope you don't want to swap your cat hairs, she said. I want Pip's shoes, I said. Where are they? I just sold them to Annie for 10 cents. Rosamond said. It was my big sale of the day. Sludge Ann and I went to Annie's house. She was outside with Fan. I saw two shoes. One was on the ground, the other was in Fan's mouth. Are these Pip's shoes? I asked. They were, Annie said. I bought them for Fan to chew. I Nate the Grey saw the bottom of the shoe Fang was chewing. Something small, square, and dirty was stuck to it. At last, I had found the Stegosaurus stamp. But I Nate the Great knew that finding was not everything. Getting was important too. I thought fast. Show me Fang's Stegosaurus smile, I said. Smile, Fang, and he said. Fang smiled. The shoe fell to the ground. I picked it up. I, Nate the Great, peeled up the stamp. 
the case was solved. We took the stegosaurus stamp to close house. The stamp was dirty, sticky, icky, and ugly. But Claude was happy to get it. Sludge and I walked home. We were careful not to step in any puddles. The end. Nate the Great and the Sticky Case. <laughs>